day today getting to hear Coach Cush. He talked about uh, you know this place and how it was built uh, and the heart and soul that went into it. All the championship teams that he had come through here and really talked to him about the relationships and how uh, uh, this, this place is almost spiritual here. Uh, and uh, he uh, talked a lot about the 75 team and the 73 team is probably the most talented. The 75 team is the one that went undefeated. And he talked about who's the best team is the one that's selfless. Uh, guys hold each other accountable. So uh, it's always a special day for us to uh, hear from Coach Cush. And, uh, did a great job today and uh, just an honor for, for us to have that. We had a great practice today, great spirit, got after it, great situation and stuff. Uh, continue to challenge guys to get better, we got better today. How much do you learn from Kush? I learn a lot. Uh, he, uh, he, he obviously, he doesn't like to really practice once a day. Uh, <laughs> he says I'm too easy on him. Uh, should be harder on him. I try to be as hard as I can. I tell him I can't grab my other face mask and let him do that anymore. <laughs> and, uh, but no, he, he's awesome. He, he really is, is so, I, mean, I have to go kind of seek him out. Uh, we'll have coffee uh, quite often, usually once or twice a month. And, uh, uh, you know, because I obviously, you know, uh, if I can do half what he's done, I'm, I, I, I'm going to be, uh, that, that would be good, you know what I'm saying? So, but he really doesn't, doesn't say much. Uh, he, he likes that our program is about class and character and explanation point toughness. He likes the toughness part of it. So uh, uh, it, it was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pleased that he's pleased with, he told the players that, that he, he watched practice, how we were teaching, and that we were fundamentalist and coaches that emphasize the right thing. So that was, that, that, that makes you feel good when he says so stuff like that. So. I know you've always tried to stress to your players Frank's role in the history of this program. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I want to win 76 ball games. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, when I first came here, there wasn't even a picture of him on the football floor. I hope that if I win 76, that they'll have a picture of me on the, on the floor. But no, it, I think it's so important, and, and, and it's very, very important that we honor the past, the people that have come before us. But also, I really believe that if that tradition and knowing that history and knowing whom you are and whom you represent, yeah, even I talk to them a lot about the fan base and about the students and, and why there is, why you get to do this, how blessed we are to get to do this, and we should give them what they want. And, and, and represent the you know, Sun Devil Nation the way they want to be represented. And the most important group in that constituency is the former players and coaches. We wouldn't be here without them and, and, and what they had done. So, uh, but I do think it motivates our players to know that tradition. And then obviously, I mean, when you have a tradition, a winning tradition, and you compete for championships, uh, you can ask one question in recruiting, and that's it. Winning tradition of winning championships is how you recruit, period. It's not a sales pitch. You don't even have to say anything. I, I get, I get kind of amazed about, like, uh, uh, the kids are coming to my office now and they meet with me. They just want to take a picture with me with the Pac-12 coach of the year trophy. They don't want to talk to me. They just want to take that picture and tweet it out. And I'm going like, it's amazing how you just win and you're successful. And it just makes it all that much easier. So, uh, so I, I believe in honor in the past. It motivates the present. Obviously, activates the future. So that's kind of what even though today wasn't full contact, it was nice to see Marcus Ball out there taking some pictures. That was very exciting. Uh, <laughs> Darius is excited to get Darius. Jackson Hill. So all those, all those were were uh, positives today. It was exciting to see them moving around a little bit. And uh, uh, yeah, I really like Marcus is such a communicator and such a leader. Uh, so we're obviously bringing him along slowly, but uh, that was a, that was neat to have him out there. DJ Foster. Yeah, he's been gone. He's gone uh, the whole time we've been up here. He had a gold jersey on him putting it around. He doesn't like wearing a gold jersey. Did you criticize Eric Lauderdale might have had his best camp day today? I think he did. I think he really did. I mean, he, uh, I think one of the things that's hard on the newcomers is they just kind of get overwhelmed. Then they kind of do one of two things. They just play by the seat of their pants and just kind of gawk in the backfield and just kind of just do whatever they do. Or they think too much and they really play slow. And I think that's kind of what he's been doing. Uh, he came in very, very confident, and then he went silent. You know what I mean? Which means he didn't know what he, he's, 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 he's kind of unsure of what he's doing. Now I think he's figuring out what he's doing, and he's getting a lot more confident. How about Jordan Simone with uh, three picks in three days? He, he made a spectacular interception today. Uh, actually, was playing in the middle of the field, man free, read the quarterback's eyes. Unbelievable. Jordan is a, 
uh, like Marcus, a great leader, great communicator. Just There's not a guy out here working harder to be better than him. Uh, he's a guy you, you want on your team and a, and a guy that's gotten better every day. And, and we need him to. We need that, you know, we need that position to, to be strong for us. I feel really good about where, where Lloyd's at, where uh, Demarius is at, even though they need to continue to get better. I think Solomon has really had big-time solid camp. Armand Perry's coming on. Quincy Brown had his best practice today. Ball and guys. So that safety position is really critical that we you know, that we continue to improve that. Okay. Let's go.